see. Good. Hi, everybody. Bonjour, Joanne. Bonjour. Je ne sais pas si c'est Muriel qui traite. Ah oh, oui, elle est là. C'est toi, qui... <rire> toi qui traduit, Muriel? Oh, no. Oui? OK. So Muriel is going to translate for the French. Very nice. Uh, English. The French. Voilà. Hi, Guru Deva. <laughs> Hi, Venus. Let's see who else is there. Oh, there's Pinka. Hi, Pinka. Claudio. Hi, Claudio. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. Oh, there's Ash. Hi, Ash. I'll see you in a few weeks. Yep. Hi, Elena. Hi, Valerie. Nice to see you. There's Dee. Hi, Dee. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, Christine, she's there. Hi, Christine. I'm just saying hello to everybody before we start in case I miss anybody that I know. Yeah. Okay. So just asking for everyone to keep their microphones on mute, if you wouldn't mind. That would be great. Um. Yeah, that'd be really good. Thank you. Um, okay. Thank you. Everyone's just coming on. Hmm. Hi, Eureka. <laughs> Not to laugh. Okay, we're about to start. Um, okay. Muriel, I'll just let you record if you want. I don't know whether you're allowed, whether you can, but I'm giving you permission to record. Okay. Oh, hi, Julie. Julie's on. There you go. There's a few on. It's good to see everybody. Thank you all very, very much. Okay. So I'm going to record. I'm just going to find the record key. There you go. Oh, must be recording. Okay, we're already recording. Okay, so that's great. Yes. Okay, I'm going to sit down. I think you can see me if I sit down here. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> So welcome everyone to this uh, very powerful super moon, blue moon that we have here in the sign of Pisces. And very different moon to last month. The last month was the Aquarian moon that um, I rather love because my moon's in Aquarius and I love the Aquarian energy. And this month we have the Pisces moon and I've read some astrology on it saying it's all the feminine energy and it's, um, yeah, and it's, but it's got a lot of emotions in it. But, you know, that Piscean energy can be very emotional. It can bring up a lot of old emotions, a lot of old stuff because the Piscean energy is often caught up in old stuff. And um, so... It's about letting go of some of that old stuff, old emotions that cause us to react and and um, that keeps coming up for us in some way. And I think this has really come up for us. And it's a little bit like the energy of the planet at the moment, lots of storms, earthquakes, you know, a lot of energy that's sort of stirring up. And I think that's what's happening with Pisces because with Pisces, you either have the energy come up and you allow it or you push it down and you um, suppress it and it's just going to come out in other ways. Um, you know, there's been, in my experience in the last few days, there's been a lot of um, angry people around, a lot of people that have been um, very testy, very, you know, very stretched and very stressed. 
And maybe you've been experiencing that as well. So I picked some cards today. <clears throat> and uh, as I always do, and the three cards we got for this moon were interesting because I don't think I've had this one before. One was Kali Ma, which was about facing your fears, which was interesting. I know in the last couple of days, I've faced three of my fears. So I don't know about you. Are you facing any of your fears at the moment? Have anything come up for you about your fears? And it says, you know, there's a lot of spiritual changes unfolding through looking at your fears. And you have an opportunity here to, to let them go. So that's a really good, a good thing. And, you know, we have all these planets in retrograde at the moment. So it's a great opportunity to um, put your feet up, really, and relax and focus on the internal parts of you, the things that need to be addressed, maybe that haven't been addressed before. And just let that um, energy flow for you in some way. Now, the second card I pulled was a, a card called Charity, which we don't get very often, but it's a lovely card. And, and it's all about prayer and contemplation. So with all of these planets in retrograde right now, we, I think we have seven planets in retrograde, which is where everything slows down, everything is giving you time to reflect, to regenerate, to nourish yourself in some way, to meditate, to pray. And so this is what it says, prayer and contemplation. So step into prayer and contemplation at this moment. Connect with your spirit. And if you are things you need or you want to ask for, ask for help. Ask for help right now because it's there for us. And then the third card that came up, which many of you may relate to, was a card from White Eagle, and it's about ancestor spirit. Ancestor spirit. So... It's actually saying connect to your lineage, connect to your ancestral line. Um, some old wound or pattern could be healed right now. There's an opportunity for that. And excuse me, I'm just seeing what's coming up on, on my screen. Um, and so if you want to heal some old family stuff, some old family lineage things, now's a good time with all these retrograde planets and of course it's probably related to the fear the facing the fear unknown fears that come up because fears limit us and fear causes us to go into reaction fear causes a lot of emotion um you know fear causes anger causes reaction causes vulnerability and and so forth so when we hold fear that we haven't done anything about it can really affect us so maybe have a think about your fears anything that's been in your face in the last few days might be worthwhile looking at and see if that's running through your ancestral lineage as well might be also worth looking at so that's what i'm getting for this beautiful blue moon super moon we go out we can see it it's huge in the sky and the last one we had was 2009 so that was quite some time ago. I'm sure it was 2009, something like that. We don't get them very often. So it's a big experience. So I know for me, at 2009, lots and lots of changes. So perhaps for you, this might be also a time of change. Letting go of our fears and, and stepping into something new, um, which the Aquarian energy was preparing us for before. So don't let our emotions control us. Let go and allow. So we're going to go into a beautiful healing with the masters. I'm going to bring forward. But first, I just want to ask everyone just to put some prayers out for humanity and Mother Earth. Lots of change happening on Mother Earth at the moment. Lots of change happening for humanity all around the globe. We have the sort of tornadoes in Florida, earthquakes in Indonesia, fires in Canada and California, flooding in other areas, um, refugees from the Sudan and Africa drowning in the oceans, um, people starving. There is so much going on on this planet right now and a lot of people are suffering. And so I'm just going to ask everyone just to close your eyes for a moment Let's just offer this little prayer out 
If you could just close your eyes and just take some deep breaths. And if you could just imagine the planet Earth right in front of you, just right in front of you. Just imagine it, see it in your mind's eye, beautiful planet Earth, right in front of you. And let us just Take some breaths and offer our love and our prayers for Mother Earth. Let us offer the love from our hearts to Mother Earth. As we say a prayer, calling for support and assistance for Mother Earth at this time. Let us say a prayer for all the animals, all the animals in the ocean, all the animals on land that are being affected by what's happening on planet Earth at the moment. Let us say a prayer for all those animals, wherever they are, and let us send our love to them. Just breathe it out through your heart. Send your loving support to Mother Earth and all her animals, all the nature kingdoms that are suffering at this time. And let us offer a prayer for them from our hearts with love. As we breathe now, Let us send our love to all the people on the earth who are suffering at this time, anyone who is in pain, in fear for their lives, starving, anyone who is confused and lost their purpose. Let us say a prayer for these ones. Let us say a prayer for anyone who is struggling on the earth to find their way. Anyone who doesn't have love in their life or support, let us send our love to them from our hearts, asking for them to be held, to be supported in some way. Let us pray for humanity, for anyone that's lost their way, that has forgotten the truth of their divine self. I just say a prayer for them. And fill our hearts with love for them. And send that out to them. Let this be your prayer and the love from your heart. 
the Mother Earth, the nature kingdoms, the animal kingdoms, and humanity. So that we may all find a way to live on this planet with love in our hearts and joy in our being. I call to each one of you to make this your prayer today. And as you do, we call now the pure white light to wrap its healing energy around Mother Earth. We call on the masters of light to come and bring healing energy, loving energy, and wrap that around the earth. We call on the angelic and the archangelic realms to bring the rainbow rays of light and wrap them around the earth, weaving them, protecting the earth, Offering hope, love, and joy to all beings. The nature kingdoms, the animals, humanity. So that all may find hope, love, and joy as they walk on the earth. Blessed be all beings. Blessed be all beings. Blessed be all beings. I would once again ask for everyone to please ensure your microphones are muted. So that you do not interfere with the channel. This would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. And as we sit now in our hearts, let us feel the blessing that we each have in our lives. Blessings of a roof over our head, food on the table, and a connection to our spirit. And let us honor this blessing that we have created for ourselves. Honor the power that we have to bring this into our lives, to make manifest our own blessing. And as we do, we call now to the masters of light to come, to come in circle around each one of you. And we ask you willingly, openly, lovingly, to open your hearts and your minds, to receive the loving light that they bring to you. They will bring to you the loving light that you need at this time, if you open to receive it. And many angels of light will also come to bless you and to honor you in loving service to you. For this is their mission. And all you are asked to do is to open to receive.
beloved hearts. We are the Lady Sarah that steps forth now from this enlightened council of divine love. And we bring to you a consciousness of divine light to touch you in your heart. To open to receive this is your choice, we say. You may breathe it in, or you may not. This is the choice that you have. And yet we say to you, beloved one, to choose to receive is such a gift that you give to yourself. To open your hearts and your minds to receive anew from the presence of the Diva in each moment, every day that you walk in the physical body and your spirit calls to you, beloved ones, to open to this, to receive from the presence of your own spirit, from the presence of the divine source. And you have a choice to do this, we say. You may or you may not. None judges you for this. Yet we say to you, the gift that you honor to yourself when you open to receive and allow this consciousness to touch you deeply is a gift, beloved ones, that no one else may give to you. For only you may offer this gift to your son. For none can open your heart or your mind for you. Only you may do this for yourself. So we have come to ask you to open your heart and mind to receive divine life, divine love, divine connection. And through this gifting, to yourself, may you discover a little more of that which you are. And as you contemplate what your choice will be, we come to honor you. We place around your crown chakra, a garland of golden roses of light. And each one will activate your crown chakra to open it so that divine spirit may flow through it. But once again, this will depend upon your choice to receive, we say. It is for you to choose. And as you breathe deeply, this golden light begins to reverberate on top of your head, around your crown chakra. Allow it to open and to activate. And as it does so, this golden light of healing, of consciousness, from the sacred presence of you, will begin to flow through you, 
if you allow it, beloved ones. Breathing and allowing, we say. Breathing and allowing. Breathing and allowing. And as you breathe, many mothers of light come. They come around you now to bless you, to honor you. They bring potential, potential of love. Potential of openness. Potential for you. To become lighter within yourself. Letting go of your burdens. Letting go of what you are carrying that causes you to feel heavy or limited in some way. Allow them to come and to take your burdens from you. And as you breathe, they will come around you, many mothers of light. And they will call to you and ask you to journey with them. And you are simply to let go. As they will lift you up. Lift you up, beloved one. In the golden chalice of light. Let go. Allow yourselves to be lifted. To be carried. Carried to the garden of the Divine Mother. Divine Mother comes to you now. For she has seen the struggle that you are carrying. She has seen your heart and your mind. And she calls to you to come and to sit with her in the gardens of light. And in this garden of light, there are many beings. They will come to you to help you to support you in some way. Let go, she says. Surrender. Surrender your trouble, your fears. Surrender your burden. All that you are holding. Let them go. She asks you to let go, for only in this surrender may joy fill your heart. May you come to know the divine energy of yourself. And as you sit in the garden, Divine Mother blesses you. She brings to you many crystals of light, many flowers of light, many butterflies of light. And they come around you. And each one calls to you to open to receive their gift. Gifts of love, 
gifts of understanding, gifts of compassion. Gifts, beloved one, that are brought to you from the loving heart of all beings in the gardens of Divine Mother. There is no need to fear, she says, for fear is of the mind. Here is your limitation. It is time to let it go. We fear, she says, when we do not feel supported, when we do not feel loved or nourished by the divine presence of our own being. And she calls for you to open to this presence of you, the divine spirit of you, and to come and meet this spirit of you in the gardens of light. In breathing deeply, beloved hearts, and putting your burdens down, Whatever they may be, you may leave them in the gardens of light. And as you put them down, ask for support. Ask for assistance. Ask for love. There is no need to say how this must be given to you, but simply ask and open your heart to receive whatever support is offered to you in any way, whatever love is offered to you in any way, whatever assistance is offered to you in any way. Receive this without attachment, without control. Surrender completely and allow yourself to receive unconditionally all that comes to you when you ask, beloved one. And when you ask and open your heart and mind to receive, so much is received when you are truly open to it when you are no longer controlling it, but in full surrender to receive. Divine Mother says she understands this can be so difficult for your human self to do, to open to receive unconditionally that which is offered to you from the high realms of light. And she asks you to choose to let go your control, to surrender and ask for support, love, nourishment, assistance to come so that your burdens may be lifted, your worries gone, so that your heart may feel loved and supported, no longer alone, beloved heart, no longer alone. Breathe and let go, we say. Breathe and let go. And as you breathe deeply, letting go, the more you choose this, the more it will be.
the mothers of light come to you. They ask you to take their hand and to walk with them in the gardens of light. To let go and to walk with them. And all around you is a joyful expanse of consciousness, many colors of light, many crystals of light, all flowing through this garden of the Divine Mother, all flowing through you, touching you, connecting with you, open to receive this gift. And as you walk now, you are being brought to a waterfall of pure light. And if you are ready, you are asked to step into this waterfall of pure light and allow it to flood through you, around you, through you, over you, beloved one. Let go, receive, open to this pure light as it cleanses you, releases you from your burden. Let it go. Some of you will feel this pure light flowing through you like stars of crystalline light. Others will feel the flow tingling, moving, and as you do, breathe, let go, breathe out, let go, breathe out, let go, surrender, and receive, beloved time. And for some of you, you will be called to walk through the waterfall and there will be a being of pure light on the other side. Go and stand within this being of pure light. Stand within it. Feel yourself standing in the very center of this being of pure light. Feel it all around you. Yes, you may feel a little small, but this being of pure light will engulf you, embrace you. Let it hold you, let it bless you. For well, this is the very presence of the divine consciousness of you. Come to hold you. Come to embrace you. Let go, dear hearts, let go. Allow this presence of you to be present with you. Let yourself be engulfed, to be embraced, to be fully merged with this being of pure light. It may feel immense to you, for it is, and you may feel tiny within it. But stand within it, dear ones, and let it hold you, let it embrace you, let it become one with you. For it is the presence of the divine that you are, never separate, but always one with you, when you choose to become one with it. Surrender, dear heart, surrender, let go, and feel the consciousness of this divine presence. Feel you, hold you, support you. Feel its love, 
feel its generous heart, its patience, its compassion. And open your heart to receive all that it has come to give you. And let go. Breathing deeply, beloved ones, and allow yourself to have this emergence. Emergence of oneness. Emergence of oneness. Breathing and allowing. And breathing deeply, beloved hearts, allowing, receiving, surrendering. And as you drop deeply and allow yourself to connect with the presence of the divine light of you, give thanks for this gift. Give thanks for the gift that you are. Give thanks for the gift of you, the gift of the presence of you. Call to your soul now, beloved one. And ask your soul to be present with you, to guide you in the coming time. To guide you so that you may walk consciously on the earth, remembering your divine truth, remembering all that you are, remembering your connection to the presence of the divine, of all that is. For it is the soul that will be your bridge to this. Let your soul be with you. Let your soul guide you in its wisdom so that you may be all that you have come to be on the earth in oneness, in unity with the presence of your divine self. Knowing this presence, understanding that there is nothing more that you need to be than that which you are. And that you are held, that you are loved, that you are nourished. Whenever you choose to open your heart and your mind to the presence of the divine of you, Breathe, beloved heart. 
breathe and know this truth that is yours to embrace. For it is this truth that will carry you forward. It is this truth that will sustain you and support you in the coming times. It is this truth that will hold you bring joy to your heart and a loving presence to your mind. Breathe and receive, dear one. Breathe and receive. And as you breathe deeply, you are called now to step through the veils of the waterfall, step through the veils of pure life, with your heart open, your mind open, filled with the loving gifts of your divine presence. And as you begin to walk back through the gardens of divine light from divine mother, you will see three pools of light, one gold, one green, one blue. And you will be called by the mothers to go and to step into one of these pools of light for you. And to immerse yourself into this pool of light. To immerse yourself in this pool of light. Breathe and receive what this pool is for you, beloved heart. And go and immerse yourself in this pool of light. And as you breathe, Universal Mother will come and call to you to step from your pool. And she will give you a gift to be in your hand. Breathe and receive the gift that is offered. And we said to you, those that were called to the blue pool are being asked to come into love of themselves, to accept that you are loved, that you are helped, that you are worthy of this love, and that you are always loved and helped. Those that stepped into the green pool of light are asked to breathe, to go more slowly on the earth, to not run so fast, to connect more deeply with Mother Earth and Gaia, to walk with feet upon the ground, Slowly, consciously. And those that stepped into the golden pool of light 
who are being asked to allow for change, allow for transformation in yourself, to let go any rigid beliefs that you may hold, and to allow yourself to be open to the new, to let go the old, to shed the old way, to come into the new way. To shift your consciousness. You will be guided to this in your life. For each pull, this energy will come to you as you walk forward in your life to support you, to bring you into the heart of present. And so, beloved one, Divine Mother comes now. She weeps starlight all around you, honoring you and blessing you. She gives thanks for you, for the gift that you are, for the gifts that you bring. And above all, she says, for the gifts that you have opened to receive through your choice. And as you breathe now, many angels come, weaving around you rainbow rays of light. And they gently bring you back to the seat where you began. Gently, lovingly, honoring you. And we are being told that the angels will whisper one word in your ear as they leave you. Open your heart to receive what it is they are telling you. Breathe, receive, and let go. We come to you this day, beloved Trax, to remind you of your greater truth of the greater part of you, to remind you that in every moment you have a choice to receive through your heart and through your mind, to choose wisely what you are receiving, to choose that which serves you, that which blesses you, that which uplifts you and expands you. For when you make wise choices, then indeed, beloved, you will always walk the path of the divine. Breathe now, beloved one. Be present wherever you are sitting. Come into the presence of yourself and know that you are loved, you are supported, you are held. We honor you each and every one. Blessed are you. Blessed are you. Blessed are you.
Thank you, everyone. I'll leave you now. Just rest. I advise you not to move around too much. Just take a minute. Blessings to you all. Much love to each and every one of you. Just allow yourself to receive. Love to you. Thank you, everyone.